Hey everyone, welcome to Wild Breakaway with Chop Chorsky. I'm Audra Martin. After 10 days on the road, the Minnesota Wild clearly glad to be back here in St. Paul. A dominant first period against the visiting Arizona Coyotes. A great third period, and here they are. The good hockey continues on home ice. They now have points in five of their last five games here in St. Paul. Yeah, the Wild had struggled with starts of games, and uh, to tonight they just jumped out to it. A 20 to 8 uh, shot advantage. They were moving their feet. They were taking away space. They were winning races, and it was. Was real evident and it gave the team a lot of momentum. They get that first goal, they go into the first break uh, up one to nothing. Arizona bounces back a little bit. They had been on a long road trip and had a day off in between. It seemed like they found their legs and, and the push came and the Wild tonight were able to stay with it, stick with it. Uh, scored three goals in kind of gritty, gutty fashion near the net. I don't think uh, you add them up. It's not more than 10 feet away from the net, but uh, we'll take it. We'll take the win. There was a lot of block shots. There was a lot of activation by the D and it was just a really good hockey game for yep. the Wild. A lot to like. Here's a look at your final stats. A 3-2 win. 34 shots for the Wild. 20 of those shots coming in the first period alone. Another great night on the penalty kill for the Wild. They have now four straight games without allowing a power play goal to the, op to the opposition. Bruce Boudreau realizing that his team is going to have to get used to these close games, and that's not a bad thing for this team. They play well in tight battles. It seems like when we win, it's, it's not a runaway win, so we have to play those learn how to play those tight games. I think at the beginning beginning of the year we didn't know them at all. Like I mean, you could go the games uh, that uh, in the third period they'd rattle off two or three goals, and, but uh, hopefully we're getting better at it. Up next on the schedule, it's a Saturday matinee of hockey at the XL Energy Center as a Wild welcome the Carolina Hurricanes to town. We'll get you started for Wild Live at 12:30 here on Fox Sports North. The Carolina Hurricanes so far this season a bit of a streaky team. They started off red hot, cooled off a little bit. Now they have wins in each of their last two games, and this is a team much like Arizona battling there. If you know the last couple spots at Wild Card spot, spot out East, and uh, they're looking to show everybody that this team is the real deal. Yeah, they're throwing up a lot of offense. They're near the top in the league in goals per game. Uh, they won a, a, an overtime game tonight, so they're getting back on track. They're 11-7-1, feeling good about that in the standings. So the Wild are going to have to defend. They're going to have to continue to play these tight games that we just heard Bruce Boudreau talk about. They're not a lot of fun. If you know, you're a player and a forward, you want to go score goals. That's the fun part of the game. But if you want to win and get those two points, sometimes you have to bite the bullet and play a disciplined game until that offense really starts firing on all cylinders. So I think, as you saw Bruce Boudreau say, I think we're starting to get better at it. And what he means is we're starting to be disciplined at playing defense or we're, we're being patient and we're sticking with it and uh, we're winning games and, and that's what you want at the end of the night. Yep, the winning hockey here in St. Paul continues tonight. The Minnesota Wild look to extend their home ice point streak to six straight Saturday afternoon and we hope to see everyone then for Tom Chorsky, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.